That's an open sewage pipe. They're going to change it in about a year because it smells kind of yucky around here. And this man here, he's the, the chief archaeologist. So we just had the good fortune to run into him. Now he, um, and he also said to pay attention to these holes in the, in the ground. And he's going to explain that to us in a moment here. Yeah. Maybe you see, I don't know, in some of the shops, what in the city, the jars. Oh, yeah? Because they don't have a stand place for the jars. Oh, yes. oh so okay. There is a story about John 7, I am thinking, I am not sure. They use the, the carrying the water up to the temple. Yeah. And when, when they used to carry the water, they put them in the jars. And this is a stand place to put the jars on them after they're pulling water. Oh, yeah. so it doesn't fall. And then they used fall. to carry the water and walking up to the temple by singing and, you know, the story. Oh, yeah, okay. the, until yeah. the temple. Oh, so. We don't know yet if we have two different Herodian roads where we was, or one white one. The other one, which next to the picture, I'm telling you it's a new one just three weeks ago, they dug it. Now it could be one white one, from that next to the picture until where we enter. You want to sit here, you can sit later, I will take you. I mean, take your rest in a few minutes, because it takes them for a cup, one hour maybe, so you don't have to be hurried. Don't worry. Can you see, you? this is the place where we went. And next to the picture, I'm telling you, there is a new thing over there which they are going to see it. So these are could be the different Herodian roads which they met someplace, or it could be one white one, like 90 feet or 34 meters long. Oh, one okay. white Herodian road which comes up to the temple. But we have to take the whole side where you were sitting okay. behind you, but we can, I and mean, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. So this is the place which where there's a pool, and that's a private place. It's belong for the Greek Orthodox Church. Oh, okay. Us permission. So the real pool of, yeah. of Salome is in there. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the step. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah. here's the steps so to the pool. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. So here's the one corner of oh, the pool. Know. Oh, did you, did, did you meet? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Uh, Red look, I, you know, I know how many people, I, but I can't remember every, yeah. day. every day I met. In yeah. my home, I have hundreds. Yeah. Moshe is 15 years, and I will let her here. He's a good friend of mine. Rick, maybe eight years. Doctor Bob, he didn't come. You know Bob? So here's the I real pool the, of Shalom, and they've only discovered this in recent years. Up until recent years, they thought it was somewhere else. So these are the first set of steps, and then here's the landing area, and then here's the next set of steps. So here's where the water was, the pool of Shalom, and you can kind of see the border there. So now it's just dirt, so they're digging. There's only so far, like the Greek Orthodox Church now has this property and won't um, allow it to be excavated. But it's kind of neat that they... Uh, now know where it is and they found the correct location so you can't see what's over there but uh yeah the pool of saloon